supposed to not die, right? Just living. Right. Like, understanding the pacing of people's attacks and, like, when you can fight back, when you can play it safe, that's so important. So maybe we'll see some of that coming out from the... Oh, it is the hero! Yep. Oh, you see, you never know what matchup's going to happen in Xeno. We got so many characters. It's pretty hype. Yeah, it seems like Hero's the character they've uh, committed to the hardest as of late, and it's it's been plenty rewarding if they've won multiple uh, fusions with a Hero Terry as their oh, wow. roster. They've. Oh, what a scary roster, right? Yeah. It's um, and, and DL DLC Pack 1 striking back with a vengeance. Oh, yeah. And yeah, you gotta love it, because Hero 2 is also a character that has so much room for self expression. So, you got Oh, <laughs> I was gonna. Right about to say. I was about to say, you know, <laughs> it's gonna be a top deck hero, a calculated hero. There are so many ways to play this character. And we just saw a Kaboom. Now, it might have looked like a top deck, but let me tell you, that was calculated. All right. I all saw right. that read time. That was just a really quick <laughs> speed read. Well, I think that really summarizes the best way for. It showcases the best parts about Vivi's hero, which is very much anti-air the character. It's, oh, they yeah. want to make you approach through the air so that they can hit you with these up tilts and hit you with these rising jabs, zapples, like so. A lot of spot dodging there. And Gotta be careful. It, it, it's but. really great you mentioned that because I feel like, yeah, hero is a character that doesn't have a ton of quick anti-airs, right? Like, you might have up tilt, but it's not super fast. Hero yeah, isn't a frame data monster. But the thing about Hero's moves is that they're large, like you said, huge. So if you get that preemptive read and you know you're going to jump and you read their timing, you have so many tools in your arsenal to make that happen preemptively. Right. And then we're getting to see just that sense of control coming out from Vivi. Oh, I no. love the high recovery with the whoosh <laughs> and turning around. It is so silly. It is yep. so goofy. It stays active for a long time, and you always have to think about it in disadvantage. You know, it, it, look, right. it looks silly. You think, oh, Hero can't just up B and then run away in the air. Like, I'll catch him. But no, no, Hero has the tools to put that up B out and then just retreat and land with very low lag. A frame four, five mana whoosh that can just scoop you all so the way I, down. So does the up B get reflected by bounce? I, I uh, feel like it would. The explosion? The barrels. Ooh, I don't think the the direct explosion, but maybe when the barrels are traveling, I couldn't tell you. Because I know it reflects snakes like F smash and stuff. That, that's not right. I, that, Entirely you, possible. Oh, that that, that stage two hero side B is one of the most amazing moves in the game, and I feel that like boy, yeah. how well the hero uses that move is a really good indicator of their mastery over the character. Because it is a little bit reactable, it has like a little bit of time before it comes out, but it is so large and so strong. The oh, psych up, psych up online. Bounce. Oh, psych oh. up and oomph. Okay, so that no. means back air uh, break shield. It means down air break shield, and it means forward to one two. Oh, but yeah. the forward air comes out. Funny doing thing about that damage. too. I just want to speak to how good Vivi is at recognizing when these buffs come up, right? Because when you have bounce up, it multiplies your odds of getting another buff by 0.2 times. Right? Yeah, as well so, as removing it from the menu entirely to so cycle yeah, through yeah. the re remainder of the spells more quickly. So to have bounce up and notice that a buff is there anyway is just like really good awareness from VV. But still, uh, Pico, you know, make it, make it. Okay. okay. I was going to say, you know, that's a position where there is potential for Diddy comeback. You know, if you have the combos ready, you can get those crazy Z drop combos into a, you know, a comeback attempt. And once they start getting to the high percent range, you know, a banana will seal the deal. But, you know, Vivi just, I mean, we've seen time and time again, they are so good at just not dying ever. Doesn't yeah. matter whether it's Lucario or whatever character, Vivi is immortal. Yeah, they have so much innate survivability in, some, in a lot of their kit. And I think it really goes, it, what we saw in a lot of that game is one of the big frustrations of Pekko's gameplay, despite how good that they are in a lot of strong game states. And in that clip right there, uh, as we move into this game too, we get to see Pekko just getting a little bit impatient, getting a little bit in their own head and trying to make something happen and make their own luck. Yeah, but sometimes I the best way to beat Vivi is just to kind of let them let them overthink themselves. Let them put themselves into a corner and use that yeah. against them. In this situation, let them use the blue juice because there is right. there is blue juice that Hero has. And let me tell you, when Hero is at 100 of that blue juice, it is very scary. So now that Hero's around like 30, 50, um, the Hero player really has to be careful and kind of choose those openings a bit more. Um, Ooh, oh no, that's so, gonna be, uh, it's a crit too. <laughs> it would have killed anyway, crit mattered, folks. <laughs> but oh, that is that is just so demoralizing when you get crit. What? <laughs> you know, I love for the, the first like year of Smash Ultimate, we were like, oh, like reverse hitboxes like kind of aren't really a thing in this game. And then the fifth year we're sitting oh, here and it's like, here. Oh, they, oh, there they are. They we never left. <laughs> they never left. 
You don't have oh. to sugarcoat it. You can call it Windex, by the way. <laughs> like, a Windex? <laughs> like blue juice? Windex. 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 All right, when, when Hero has max Windex, that's when the character is at their scariest. And let me tell you, uh, Vivi is actually amazing at utilizing that in ways that people might not realize. For example, the grabs. Vivi is so good at getting these simple grabs. And people might think, you know, oh, Hero's grab is not that good. On paper, frame data isn't great. Um, you know, it doesn't give you a ton of reward, but it gives you Windex. It, gives it you fills mana. up the bottle of Windex. And once that happens, the world is your oyster. That's very, hocus very true. No, Why hocus? Do? Oh. Where's the Hocus? You will never I see I feel it. robbed. <laughs> I, I, want, I want Hocus on the screen right now. Wait, did he dodge his... Dodging the grab with up smash. Yeah. I'm profiling the standing grab, but it turned into a stock anyway with the empty land into a psych up up throw. Her buck shifting. He, Her. Diddy's a character that kills consistently, right? With banana and all that. Yeah. But again, this is a question of your character's strengths versus a player who does not die. Diddy nope. is so good at just not dying ever. And, and um, <laughs> deep in the blast zone like that, getting what do the. You do? Getting the zoom uh, higher odds deep in the bubble like that, or however, once you're within that range from the blast zone. Oh, look at Crackle Slash was oh, there. Oh, no. Huge jab, though. And look at that. That jab alone gave Hero, like, 15 mana, right? Because yeah. the less mana you have... I'm sorry, Windex. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but the less Windex you have, the more you get when you hit someone. So it's actually optimal to stay around that 30, 40 range where you can still use all your specials, but you actually get a lot for hitting them. Still 181 here. Oh, and look, 17 already boom. off one jab. That, no! no! He did it. Oh, the they, tactical they did the, they did the Hocus Pocus and they got punished for I it. Mean, I gotta say, I don't even object to that. I think that yeah. was just a good decision given, like, you know, the Give, stock. Count. I mean, the reward you get is incredible. Like, you could pull a, a magic burst there and, while well, it wouldn't have done yeah. all the time. Oh, no. Uh, is that this, is, four? No, this just, is so scary. What do you do? That's. Okay, that could have been a kill. But, um, I mean, honestly, Accelerator. Especially if you have a mastery of movement. Oh, no. Uh, and again, that, is, that is so scary. That I early mean, monkey flip, man. Yeah. It's, I feel like Pekka was doing a lot of things right. right? A lot of great advantage state plays. But then the question isn't, like, you know, how do you keep them an advantage? It's like, how do you actually get that kill, right? Right. If this were Street Fighter, maybe Pekka would have taken that. But this is Smash Brothers. And you got to get him off the screen, you know? And it is, it is so hard to do that against somebody who's not only... A master of doing that in their own right, but is also playing a character that has these defensive hitboxes, strong aerials, you know, really well-spaced special moves. Look at that. Uppies out of disadvantage. Um, just really careful and patient play, which is rewarded on this character. For sure. I mean, there's... Oh, I'm getting a nice little glance at that hole. Empty line. It goes to the nair. Spot dodges the up smash. Oh, it's the, time the, the, for the a grab. Yeah, just time for a punish. Yeah, punish. Yeah, of course. Punish the move. Oops. Just punish it. Yeah, oops. O oopsie daisies. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong? Just punish it. Just get the punish. It's easy. Just simply hit him. Simply hit him. <laughs> We're okay. talking about pancakes. What is Diddy doing here? <laughs> Listen, if, 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 if low profiling is pancake, that's a pizza. That's a pizza toss. All right, Diddy's in the air. <laughs> That's ridiculous. We're going to put a little pizza on a stick here. <laughs> there you go. Absolute tomfoolery on display that set. I mean, as you'd expect, right? That's what you want to see from Hero. I mean, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Then, uh, my pretty little picture. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, 